Hi, I'm Jason and welcome back to part 2 of the Counter-Strike Source dedicated Windows Server tutorial. In part 1 we set out our game server folder and installed the relevant Counter-Strike Source game files. So let's continue where we left off and start the configuration of the game server. So first thing is that I need to create a batch file that I can use to run the game server and set the map and the amount of players etc. So I'm going to cheat on this and pinch some from a website called srcds.com. So let's open up a Google search window, srcds.com. And I'm going to select the install srcds for Windows because that's what we're using. And if I scroll down, I can copy the code from this watchdog file here. So let's highlight this, right click say copy. Let's just minimize this for a moment. And in here I'm going to right click and say new text document and we'll call it start and I'm going to change the file extension to a BAT which is a batch file and press enter. Are you sure you want to change it? Yes I do. And now let's edit this and I'm going to right click and paste all that code in. I'm just going to make some minor adjustments. So, for example, here after C strike, I'm going to say plus IP space 192.168.1.50, which is the IP address of my game server. And I'm going to say minus PORT for port number 27015 and we'll put a space in there as well. I'm also going to change the maximum players. Instead of 16, I'm going to make it 12. Going back to the IP and the port number, as I mentioned, the, the IP address there is my game server IP address, which we set up in part one. The port number is for port forwarding through my network to this game server. I do this because my son and I will both be able to play on the game server from within the same network as well as everyone else outside of my home network. I'm not going to go into how to port forward for now as you will all have different routers to the one that I'm using but basically you'll need to port forward 27015 through your router to your game server computer and a good place to start would be by going to the website www portforward.com and looking at port forwarding guides under the router section and there you will find a list of all the router manufacturers and you can just simply select the one that you want and it will give you a step-by-step -step guide on how to port forward through your router. So that's done let's file and save and we'll close that and I'm also I'm going to make a shortcut on the desktop here I'm just going to rename this shortcut because you've probably noticed already that I've created other game servers so we know which ones we're going to open. We'll call this C Strike Server Start and maybe we'll change that icon later to something fancy. So let's go into our C Strike folder here and in here we need to go to CFG for config. We need to make a new file called server.cfg. So let's right click, say new text and we'll call it server and we'll change the file extension to CFG. Are you sure you want to change it? Yes. And let's right click and edit. We'll use Notepad++. Okay, so now we have our server.cfg file, we need to populate it with the relevant parameters that we want to run on our, on our game server. So we can do this and we can cheat again. We can go to a website called www.cstrike-planet.com And if you look down on the left here, we've got something under tools called SRCDS CFG Maker. So let me click that. 
and here are all the different game parameters that we can add into our Counter-Strike Source server. So obviously the first one being the server name, so we can call this whatever we want, so let's call it SPQR hyphen Counter-Strike Server. Uh, the Archon password, let's just put it in as SPQR for now. Um, the server password itself, if you don't want to put anything in then just leave it blank. And basically it's down to you to go through all of these different parameters that you can set. I'm going to leave everything as default for now for speed. Uh, the only thing I will change is the region, the server region. Uh, I'm in Europe so let's have that as Europe and then if we scroll right down to the bottom here we can say run CFG Maker. So when we run it we end up with all of this text here which we can highlight and we'll drag all the way down to the bottom And I'm going to copy, let's minimize this, and we'll right click and paste. So we've got all of our settings in there, so let's save this and close that now. Okay, I think we're almost ready to test out our game server. So let's do this by first of all starting our uh, Counter-Strike Source server, so we'll click on C strike server start here from the batch file that I made earlier. It's going to pop up and ask me if I want to uh, let this through the firewall. Yes, I do. And if we give it a few moments, eventually it will come down and say VAC secure mode is activated. Looks to be that our game server is up and running, so let's minimize down my remote desktop connection. And I'm going to fire up Counter Strike Source. And if I go to Find Servers, hopefully under LAN, there we are SPQR Counter Strike Server. So there it is. And remember I set it to 12 players and currently there is nobody on there. There are 12 slots available and the map uh, is D-Dust. And if I click on this I should be able to connect. It will retrieve the game info. And then hopefully in a moment we'll be able to join straight into the game. So that concludes part 2 of the uh, server creation and the configuration and in part 3 we'll look at other things such as admin tools and maybe skins and things like that. So thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video.